Hi Virgo. It's Elle here to do your April 2019 general reading. Um, so general reading won't resonate with everyone, but thank you to those who resonate with the readings and they like, share, they comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, let's get started. Uh, love for Virgo. What's going on in love for Virgo? Let's see. Virgo, you've been having some really good energy for some of you. Some of you still stuck in situations that, to be quite frankly, you just won't release. Wow. Then the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands pops out. Talks about carrying the burden, needing to release. Make, talks about an ending here. Now, this is voluntary. You know, uh, will you allow this ending? It could be with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You've carried it. You may do a lot in a situation. Uh, in the home with the children. You carry a lot of the financial burden. You carried a lot of just everything. Within that dynamic. Uh, it's getting too heavy. It's. It's becoming very heavy for some of my female Virgos. Four of Swords in reverse. Um, some of you, you decided to stay in a situation and just continue to carry the burden with that Ten of Wands. But now you want to come out of that. Possibly go back to an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or they want to come back to you. You guys were in separation. Now you want to come out of that. Or you may even be having dreams, uh, premonitions about... An ending, the, and then the Wheel of Fortune pops out upright. You have to release to have this wheel turn in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune is a 10 card, so it talks about all of the 10s the 10 of Pentacles, the 10 of Cups, the 10 of Wands, the 10 of Swords. What are you releasing to allow the wheel to turn in your favor? Uh, could be dealing with a fixed sign Aquarius, Scorpio. Morris, Leo. This is love. Okay. Then we have the Emperor. Definitely could be dealing with the fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Taurus in particular. Five of Wands in reverse. Wanting to come out of that indecision. The pettiness, the the drama, the several different opinions about what to do in this situation. This person may also, you don't care what they think about you making a decision in regards to maybe ending something, a uh, divorce or, or something of that nature. You, now you're, you're not worried about all the, the gossip, the rumor, the drama. It's friends, there's family, there's lots of people talking, you don't care anymore. You don't care anymore, but you're still the two of swords and the moon. There's deep reservations about, will this work somewhere else? Should I end here? What will I do with this other person? How will this work? I know I have really, you know, strong feelings for them, but can this, can that? We're so different, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, you may even have dreams about what could be. Your heart is torn. Your mind says one thing, your heart says another. Seven of Cups in reverse. Come out of mental confusion, emotional confusion. Make a choice. The choices are fleeting. They're, they're, somebody's getting to a place where they don't even want to deal. They're not going to want to deal with this any longer. Seven of Cups in reverse. You have to turn it upside or you may have come out of the confusion. You were confused. Now you're, you're just really. Okay. Uncaring now. Emotions have been extracted from this decision. And now you're just really basing it upon. Um, wanting to gain control over the situation again. This is getting back in control. 
by way of making a decision no longer fantasizing about what could be or what was coming out of that energy that's good i apologize i was reading it upside right side up but some of you are gaining control over this situation by uh, making a decision no longer living in you know that emotional confusion the stagnation of, you know what the relationship was or what it could be what people say or what do I choose coming out of that all right how does this other person feel whoever you're coming to the reading for let's see how they feel other person feel whoever Virgo's coming to the reading for it, how do they feel let's see the Empress all right they feel like they feel abundant they are the, the creators and the masters of their environment they create what they want they feel beautiful inside and out fertile king of wands in reverse They're trying to create something, but they also feel like it's fleeting. They're, they're not getting what their heart, what their heart desires. That's how they feel. Wow, the lovers upright. Come down to Gemini. Um, they feel like a choice has to be made in love, either for for you you make the choice, Virgo, or they need to make the choice. But a choice in love needs to be made there's two people here the choice right the two of wands in reverse but someone's not they know they need to instinctually intuitively make a decision they know which way to go but they've laid this to rest they feel like this could be you they feel like you haven't made the decision to move to actually do six of pentacles in reverse yeah you need to make a decision but you haven't and now you you put the 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 choice they feel like you Virgo have put the choice down altogether you're not even given to to either party them or the uh, another person I feel like there's three people here ace of cups and they feel like maybe the love is lost didn't I tell you about it looks like you're coming out of emotional stagnation and you might be making a decision but yet yeah, do so before somebody else feels this way ace of cups in reverse like you know i'm done with it i don't want the new love or the new friendship that the virgo has to offer now this could be vice versa too so don't don't beat me up in the comments um four of cups upright the sun in reverse they feel as if it'll be the same old way it used to be. So they're blocking out any opportunity. They don't look at this very positively. You you offering anything. They need their ego is in the way. Their or, or yours. You're dealing with a Leo. Now, they look at the situation differently now because they've waited too long. The strength of waiting is not with them anymore. This other person feels like you have the choice to make for a very long time. You didn't. They also feel like you've now put the choice down. You aren't doing anything. And if you do come back with an offer, um, they don't feel as if it's the most positive one they need a shift of ego Virgo if you go back to this person or vice versa they come back to you you need to shift your ego maybe move it move the pride aside um, and see where that gets you let's see Let's do career and finance. 
No, let's do advice for the Virgo. So, what's the advice and love for the Virgo? Six of Pentacles. Make the choice of which party you're going to put energy and effort, time, solidify a relationship with because there is or were uh, problems in a second marriage, a second relationship, or something second. Okay? You could have two relationships with problems here. Um, somebody just, yeah, that's the advice there. The star. Go after your wish fulfillment. You could be dealing with Aquarius person. Um, you're going to have to choose here. This is all about choices, Virgo. This person is very abundant. You look at them as, as beautiful, as wish fulfillment, as uh, being on the right track. Go after what it is you want. Be true to you. The Empress again, definitely. Virgo, whoever this is you want, they're highly attractive to you. They're, they're good in their own right. About by themselves. Uh, three of Pentacles. Continue to create solidarity with this person. You're going to have to show them that you've changed. You need to look at them. They need to look at you in a different light, Virgo. Or vice versa, vice versa. This could be the mother of your children or something about a baby or mother could be a mother the will of fortune good fortune is tied to this person uh, if you make the effort the will turns in your favor here you have to have ending, to have new, to have solid foundation and beginning with this person. All right, advice. Seven of Cups. Come out of emotional confusion. Make the choice. You may be confused over a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person. Yeah, Three of Cups. You may be confused about should you reconcile with this person? Should you continue with this person? Could you Should you continue building emotionally? Uh, you may feel like this is like twin flame destined to be together. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You may have a family or they have a family. Either way, this person makes you very happy or you want a family with them it's just that they're in between all of this want wishing and hoping there's been drama there's been uh illusion there's been lies there's been deception someone doesn't trust the virgo or you virgo do doesn't trust the other person okay let's close out what we're gonna do is we're gonna close out with our angel answers and then we're gonna clarify the angel answers over at the website also do a quick little spread for you guys over there too peaceful resolution i think that's what you're fearing that is just not going to be peaceful. You've got a lot to take in and count, Virgo. Like you have a family that you may be walking away from. Um, or not walking away from or that comes with you. You know, you you leaving one situation to go to another one. It's not just you. You have to make a, a clear, conscious decision about ending and new beginning. So I get that. Within the next few months, something's happening here. You get a timeline here compromise okay if you believe all right in opportunity okay 
So let's see what our butterfly oracle cards have to say in regards to uh, what the Virgo should be focused on moving forward. Sentimental feelings at the bottom of the deck. Five cards popped out. So adult children, young adult children. A factor here for some of you. Take the next step now. Grief work. You either need to visit a counselor. You need some counseling. You either do this for a living or you want to shift careers. You need to grieve the ending of. Okay. Decisions definitely here. Nothing but decisions in this reading. Realizations and epiphanies coming to you with that moon card. Four of swords. Sentimental feelings. Yeah, it's like uh, I, I don't want to leave my family. I have obligation to them, but I love somebody else. I don't want to be with someone else. How do I do this? Um. Yeah. Okay. So meet me on the other side. Also going to do some, a little something for career and finance on the other side. The extended reading is $2. Um, we're going to drill down on these cards. We're also going to do a quick mini spread. Um, you get a lot of clarity. If you cannot afford a full on reading, $2 is as affordable as it can get right for you to gain a bit of clarity about your situation. Make sure that you're listening to these, these readings, mine or anyone else's in the air or the mindset of making real change in your life um not to say that you need to take everything that a reader says to heart or apply it to your situation but you then need to stop and think about what it is you want or what do you, it is you need to do in your situation so that you can move forward don't be that person that looks at readings for two to three years and still is in the same situation same place as they were two to three years ago know that these are informative in some fashion uh, so that you can gain a bit of clarity especially these free readings um a lot of us readers get into this just to help people uh this isn't for some of us it's not a full-on job to where we're looking to make a full you know some you know, where we're making a whole, uh, uh, an astral, nomical amount of money here. No, this is to help. And if it's not helping, sometimes readers can get discouraged. Because if you're still dealing with Joe, who was a cheater five years ago, and now you're getting a reading from me again five years later, and we're still dealing with Joe in the same place, you know just without me pulling any cards let me give you my personal advice um it's no longer joe it's you uh that's evaluate you and your decision making or lack thereof so anyway that was my rant to take from it N know that these readings should be pre propelling you to move forward not stay in stagnation and to find it entertaining that a reader can read your whole drama filled life and you just you know I don't know you just shake it off and you go back to it um, you know that we here on this earth in this plane in this dimension we only have one life to live and we want to live it to the fullest and we want to um, learn all the lessons that we need to learn so we can move forward uh, be always conscious of that okay anyhow website all of that stuff is below if you want to book a reading I don't know who that was for I don't even rant those who know me and have been with the channel for since I started they you know I don't even go into stuff like this so that you know that was definitely specific for somebody out there anyhow take care guys now that I'm praying for you pray for me as well extended reading below